This, this is a Leica M6. Some think the Leica is considered the holy grail of 35 millimeter photography, while others think this is just a super expensive black box. And this, this is a novelty Pokemon camera that I bought off of eBay from somewhere in Japan. Uh, you have Pikachu, Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle all there to help you get the best possible photo that you can get. Oh, and the viewfinder is like a cool Pokemon looking thing. Uh, more on that later. Now, at the time of filming this video, you are able to purchase a Leica M6 TTL, which is the version that I personally have for around $3,500 to $4,500 off of eBay. Or you could purchase one of these cool looking Pokemon novelty cameras off of eBay from anywhere from $100 to $150. Bucks. Yes, I have the Pikachu real camera, but it's in a box and I'm not going to open it because I'm going to put it on my shelf and hold it forever like a weird, weird person. So one of these is an extremely expensive and professional level rangefinder 35 millimeter camera, while the other one is just kind of like a fun novelty point and shoot camera. Uh, is there a difference? Well, today I'm going to put these two cameras to the test. I'm going to be shooting them in the same lighting at the same situation in the same place. Once we are done shooting, I will be developing them in the exact same process in the same tank with the same chemicals for the same amount of time so that we can try to get a real understanding if there is that much of a difference between a $3,500 camera or a $100 probably even cheaper than that for MSRP camera. So let's get into it. First, we gotta go shoot and uh, then we'll get into developing action. We're at uh, Cathedral Park in Portland, Oregon. A uh, really beautiful park in the, what? <laughs> like the Eastern part of Portland. Walk around, take some cool pictures here and call it good. And Junior's filming, cause he's the best. Um, I'm shooting on the Leica M6 with the Voigtlander 28 millimeter 2.0 uh, Ultra, Ultron, I think is what it's called. And then I don't even know what lens this is. I'm assuming it's just a 35 millimeter lens with a maybe an F11 aperture. Um, but Bulbasaur, Charmander, Ivysaur, and Pikachu are on there. Which one's your favorite? <laughs> Let me know. Pokemon, catch them all. Let's see. This slides over here into that. Hopefully this is gonna work. Um, wait, do I just put it at the back? There we go, we're in. We are... Oh, sh We're good to go. Camera one loaded. Now for comparison... Boom. Boom. And turn the back up. There we go. Yes, it is 8 a.m. and I am back here because I didn't load this correctly. So I'm reshooting my photos because I'm an idiot. All right, first shot of the day. Uh, pretty basic shot right here, right down the, the alleyway. Oh, this looks crazy. <laughs> Cops are pee pee. <laughs> I don't even know if I can... Snipe Yeah, Portland. Portland, Oregon. It's not a war zone. There's some pretty, pretty spots out here. Um, this is one of them. Cathedral Park. Junior said this is the place he got his first paycheck for uh, shooting photos, which is kind of lit. Keeps getting better and better the further down you go. I'm so curious to see if this is gonna turn out or not. There's that right there. Um, Charmander, Bulbasaur, Squirtle, and, and uh, Pikachu. Bulbasaur sucks. And that's on God. Apparently Portland sucks. Look at that sign. Yeah, that's depressing. We should take a photo of it. This thing's pretty tight, I'm not gonna lie. Looks like there's probably someone sleeping in it. Yeah, it gives off that vibe, huh? It's kinda like gotta catch them all with Pokemon, but with pictures instead. Junior's cousin climbed that one time. That's 
real like it looks like you could easily climb up it but i think it'd be hard to get down yeah last time i was at this park i was telling junior there was a 14 year old up top here and he was uh throwing beer bottles at people <laughs> he was like maybe 14 years old drunk as hell throwing beer bottles at people let's take a picture of this They're both really fun to shoot with, don't get me wrong, but this is like, this might take the cake. It's so fast, it's like, boom. <laughs> you gonna wind it like a disposable? Mm -hmm. right, 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 right. This, this is all fancy. Like, this video is sponsored by Squarespace. <laughs> Every photographer channel ever. <laughs> here there's legitimately like half a pokeball that you shoot through <laughs> is there a way to see it in the camera? i doubt it can you see it at all all right shooting right here there's a cool like cool framing with the tree right here and the bridge um not much more to it than that i'm not gonna get more into that i'm so curious to see how these turn out Down here, those purples. Did anybody check it? No. Yeah, so uh, welcome to my, back to my YouTube channel. These are all the homies that we're hanging out with today. Uh, <laughs> You're about to come at me, bro. You're kind of intimidating, I'm not gonna lie. Hey, I'm back here. No looker, that's kind of nice to be able to do. Oh. Oh, we go over here. Yo, what's up, bro? Yeah, you guys have your space. That's cool. Yo, no, it's cool. We don't want to be on the beach anyway. We'll go back. We'll go back in here. So I have just finished developing both the rolls from Pikachu camera as well as the Leica, um, and I have to say that I am thoroughly impressed with the images from both. But I'm more impressed with the fact that the Pokemon camera even tried to stand a chance. Um, some of the images from this thing were actually more fun than some of the images from the Leica. Um, and I think that comes with the camera as well. I mean, it's a crank camera. You get to hear that sound the whole time. It's a point and shoot. You have no control over what the photo is going to look like. Um, and it just feels like an old disposable camera that you can put new film in time and time again. I really like that people were able to approach this camera. It's much more approachable than the Leica. Uh, it's not as like intimidating and it actually struck a couple conversations while I was walking around shooting photos. Um, but the Leica image is definitely the better image out of these two. I would hope so in comparison to the prices um, and what the Leica is known for. If I came back and developed the photos and found out that the Pikachu camera is actually better, I think I would be extremely disappointed. Uh, the Leica had a lot more contrast, whereas the Pikachu camera didn't really have as much contrast and it felt like the edges of the photo were extremely warped. Um, obviously that's going to happen because you can put lenses on this thing you can't really put lenses on this thing at all so because of that um it did make it very difficult to have any sort of control when using the pikachu camera um, and for that you can see in the photos there's a lot of warping um, and i also think that the lens on this thing does not let in as much saturation or contrast as the Leica lens do i have a voltlander lens on this thing uh, we can go more into that in a different video but overall i think both of the photos are fun uh, they're lively. I think that it's fun to go and try different cameras like this and compare them because who knows? I mean, is it thousands of dollars of difference between the two photos? You guys let me know in the comments below. I'm not sure if it's worth that much of a difference. And I also want to make it very clear that photography isn't always about gear. I know I say that you hear it in every video talking about gear, right? Um, but what I do think is important about gear is that it is a camera that you like, whether it's going to be a Pokemon camera that's a point and shoot and you have no control over or a really fancy pants like a camera. Um, you just want to get a camera that you like that is going to cause you to shoot more photos and going to get you more involved in the photo community. Um, and with that being said, I think both these cameras are going to do that for me. I love shooting uh, more professional stuff, more lifestyle that I'm going to care about down the road with this thing. And then I'll probably be taking this Pokemon camera out to a bunch of different, uh, I don't know, parties, drinking, hanging out with friends. 
uh, more that style of vibe. But either way, I will be shooting more photos with these two cameras because I like the camera and I like using them. And that is the most important thing when thinking about a camera for you guys. So oh, if you guys have it, give some of my other videos a watch. I have a bunch of other videos on the YouTube channel. Uh, be sure to hit subscribe to the channel as well. And also give a huge shout out to uh, Junior Gonzalez for helping me film this video. Uh, the man behind the camera while we were out shooting photos. Really appreciate you. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thumbs up, comments below, all that hype, jazzy, jazzy. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.